Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 Pro Custom ROM. The use Android version is 13 here. You can see uh, this is a rising OS, which is nothing but a rise rod renamed as a rising OS from some of the builds. And it's game lot 1.2.5 edition. And July 5th is the latest security patch, which is available here. And build version you can see. And kernel user is 4.14.320 per year rice ksu kernel has been used in built kernel this is which is quite interesting and this is typical home screen you get and here you get a app drawer and apps arranged like this and this is a quick settings panel if you can see here flashlight other things are working fine in the edit section you also get some of the other options you can check out on the screen and settings panel looks like this simple here and here you get a Moto Dolby Atmos. In fact, in some of the other smartphones with similar custom ROM, we are getting proper Dolby Atmos. But anyhow, we are getting this in this particular smartphone, the Poco X3 Pro YUR Bima. This is how it is. For flashing method, I have made a dedicated video in the shots. I will be uh, pinning here and even in the description checkout and even how to unlock the bootloader. Other things have been given in the description and my channel. You can check out and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and this is the volume panel you get which is quite interesting and you get these kind of options here and dialer you get a proper google dialer here we won't get yeah because i'm using bsnl sim we will get a uh, direct video call support here and you also get a call recording option but it will announce that other person you are recording the call that's how the google dialer you get in this particular from quick settings everything is smooth here i haven't faced any issues regarding the user interface and you also get a, a pre-installed google camera here i want to show the version yeah this how it is will yeah this is how the google camera you are getting it's fine actually shutter speed everything is fine actually you can see uh, if want you can use any other gcam ports also many are available for poco x3 pro that you can use that and drm information again you get a level 1 certified you can watch all the audit application in high definition resolution and safety and status it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like phone pay google pay those are going to work fine no problem regarding that and this dolby atmos is added feature if you want you can use them it will make sense uh, while playing music and videos you will get such difference in this particular rom and fm radio is also given in this particular rom now moving into settings here you get a personalizations here you need to just enable these high fs uh, count in games like bgm or anything like that and unlimited photo storage you can enable here android p style again if you want you can use them so i have to screenshot other things you can enable here even game space is also given you can see and we'll be moving into some of the other settings like lock screen you get these kind of customization if you want you can enable the edge light from here other settings are also given you can see on the skin second notifications you get plenty of customizations here color qs notification icon if you want you can enable from here quick settings again you can see a little bit of delay has been there i restarted it but still a little bit of delay here and there only in the customization of the settings is there but overall you it's very smooth and battery percentage you can select here and follow style you can see i mean the battery status style you can change from here you can position them also battery slider again other settings you can customize from here sound settings again you get a pulse adaptive playback and other volume steps you can do that from here in the customization settings status bar again you get a battery bar if you enable that you will get a plenty of options here those things will be carried out here 4 j icon and other things you can enable or disable from here even colored icons other things you can see on the skin user interface again you get lot more customization here you can even change the setting style from here a moment other settings like actual settings here display settings you get a dark theme option but by default it's not in pitch black just enable this pure black then it will be in pitch black condition you can see how dark the settings panel is now i really like it they need to add this option once updated to even android 14 too yeah 
a live display you get again options here and colors you can keep it out whatever you want you can even adjust the rgb strength peak refresh at kept to 120 and minimum if you want you can keep it to 30 it will be a dynamic refresh rate will be applicable in this particular rom no need to worry regarding that and wake to tap to wake and tap to sleep are working fine per app refresh rate you can choose from here uh, sound settings again wallpaper sound style you get this kind of uh, native support and wallpapers has been given you also get a nothing wallpapers from here which is good thing here themed icons and shortcuts and again these colors wallpapers and basic colors combination of colors and those are still present in my opinion and battery again you get a redesigned version of this rise or droid i mean rising OS. Uh, battery usage you can see from here chart has not been given and you also get a extreme battery saver options from here you also get a charging control as you can see font you can enable that and you can even custom the schedule from here which is quite interesting from in my opinion sound and vibration again you get a print of options here you also get a system haptics you can increase or decrease the intensity of certain particular situations and default alarm sound and the other things are working fine you get a me sound enhancer in addition you also get a high fire system and even the moto audio dolby atmos support which will make sense once you enable that and play around that you will get a difference once you play the song or a video in the media applications accessibility again you get plenty of options here too and you get that accessibility menu which is a handy feature without actually using the physical buttons you can access some of the set security features again you get a fingerprint and face unlock i will add the face unlock very quick now just added the face unlock and even you get app lock here and more security feature the rom is encrypted and you get that face and fingerprint let me show you and even if app locker is also pre-install no need to worry and fingerprint unlock you can see it's speed enough um, face unlock yeah it's also working fine tap to sleep and tap to wake both are also working fine and other settings have has been shown here and going into system again into uh, gestures again here into system navigation there is an option to increase this gesture bar length even the radius also but they would have been added in the next builds at least they can add i think so uh, this is the rising os here and i want to show the benchmark results and this is charging rapidly you can see using 33 watt charger you can completely charge your smartphone within a hour or hour 15 minutes and this is a cpu throttling test results the maximum scores are around like this and average is like this and minimum uh, because i encountered one bug here as you can see while running the cpu throttling test this app was getting stopped but i have been fixed it because rebooting several times this has been gone but this affected the cpu throttling test results and this is a 100 thread test guys which is fine in my opinion in day to day usage you won't get any throttling error but in gaming you might face some of the throttling error and single score is 1000 and multi score is 2873 again linux 4.14.320 peri rice ksu kernel has been used and the 7 lakhs 8037 is the antidote benchmark results and temperature raise was 4 degrees celsius and 3 percentage of battery has been dropped during this entire testing of this particular rom and the battery life you can see before it was 100 percent still in 99 percent i was making video around uh, 10 minutes now it's still a very good battery life you can expect from this i uh, haven't tried gaming here you just comment down below whichever game you need to see in my reviews will be showing it off and bjma is not completely optimized guys it will have some laggy and you won't get 90 fps support here in bjma if you want to play pubg mobile you get 90 fps and even pubg mobile i mean the new state will get 90 fps support which will handle very good in this particular rom but it's not a gaming rom or anything like that if you want to use a simple user interface with different uh, ascents here and with moto dolby atmos support then you can flash this custom rom if you are in previous versions if you are looking for better upgrade you can update this particular rom i recommend to clean flash every rom and this how the rom guys uh, if you like the video give it a like and me this is sampath will be signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keeps smelling bye bye for now